Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Noah Nagoda, and give you my last reaction video of the day. This one is a request video by The Real 2K. So, shouts out to you, bro or girl. I did not happen to know which you were. I was not able to look officially at your channel, so I have no idea. But I'm thinking if your name's The Real 2K, gotta be a dude, right? Like, I mean, I'm just saying, gotta be a dude. But. This is Young Don the Sauce God Exposed. Now, you guys know I've reacted to multiple Young Don the Sauce God videos. So, if this dude is really exposing your boy Don, then I'm going to need some proof. Like, this has got to be some... Now, if this is just some, like, Berlizzi type exposed thing where he's really just roasting the dude the whole time, then that's one thing. But if this is, like, some actual exposure, then I'm going to need some proof. I'm going to need legitimate evidence in this video and according to the description this dude does not like don in the least his hashtags on this video are f sauce god and better than young don the sauce god if you better you better show it in this video but no matter what this dude says no matter what evidence this dude brings it's not gonna stop me from watching don it really ain't like, you're going to have to bring some crazy stuff to the table if you expect me or most people to stop watching Young Don the Sauce Guy. But let's see what he got to talk about. We're going to start this video in three, two, one, go. Let me just tell you, this guy is a serious tracer. You can literally look up any image in his animations and find it on Google. Yo, what up? It's your boy, Young Don the Sauce God. And I got a banger story to share with you guys. It's about the time I copied the f off of a small YouTuber because I liked his style, but didn't want him to get big off of it first. Not only do I copy small YouTubers, but I sucked off a whole lot of big YouTubers to get where I am now. Then I copied them too also, changed my entire persona, and even sold my soul to the devil. Let's talk about this n And yes, I will be using that corny ass coin sound to bleep out all the cuss words. So get the f used to it. Young Don the Sauce God is a fake persona and he's a master manipulator and he copied me to the extreme and I'm 100% positive that he's copied other animators as well. He first started as a Coleon Fox ripoff, which he used to make skits, but then he deleted them. So Young Don the Sauce God, original name Don Hines, had about 4,000 subscribers June of 2017. I was at like 9,000 subscribers and I wasn't making animations yet. I stumbled across his channel and saw that he just started animating. I thought a few of the videos were good and I found him on Instagram the same day. His name was Don Juan Hines or something like that on Instagram and he had only about 500-ish followers. My name on Instagram at the time was I Love Sai. I had about 11K followers on Instagram at the time, I don't remember, and I DM'd him, hey Don, I'm a YouTuber as well, a tech YouTuber, and I would love to do some collaborating with you because of your animating abilities. I want to incorporate some animations into my videos, but I have no tools to do so. Hit me up whenever, love to talk to you, keep up the good work. He sees the message and doesn't respond, and I'm thinking, well, damn, fucking asshole. So a few months later passed, and it's November of 2017. I decided to go check on his channel, and out of nowhere, this nigga is blowing up. He's going from 4,000 to like 400K. And as his channel subscriber count is inflating, his head starts to inflate as well. So he decides to rename himself Young Don the Sauce God. What the f kind of name is Sauce God? You the fucking god of barbecue sauce or something? So I decided to check his videos and his whole persona has changed to this obviously stereotypical black dude. Keep in mind, this guy is from Jamaica. He doesn't even talk like this. He's nowhere near hood, nor is he from the hood. So I go to his Instagram and I can't find it. Check his YouTube and remember how I told you my name was I Love Psy on Instagram? So he changed his Instagram name to Mother I Love sauce god and in my head i knew this <laughs> stole that from me but i told myself i'm gonna let it slide because there's plenty of other i love insert name here accounts out there january 2018 i decided to do animation since it is like this blowing up and i knew i could do way better How now it seems he's i'm sorry for pausing but whenever i see some exposed junk i'm paying attention to like facts that are being said in the video i have not said anything since I did my introduction. So it was like two minutes ago. Now, 
I kind of get where this dude's coming from. Kind of. At the same time, one, even though he's from Jamaica, he's always said that he never really had an accent. He said that since the beginning, which this dude probably knows. So I don't know if he was talking about, I don't know what he meant by he don't talk like this. I have no idea what he meant. He never tried to sound hood, in my opinion. I know some dudes who try to sound hood. He never tried to sound like that, in my opinion. Another one is when it comes to, like, stealing stuff from you. I don't know too much about that. I, I don't know. You got to come up with a little more, a little more something than that. Like, he blew up. Tons of people blow up over some crazy shit. I mean, it doesn't, it all depends on who in the world is sharing your channel. Like, that's what it really depends on, who's sharing your channel and what you yourself are doing to make sure your channel gets out there. I know that a while back, he started doing sign poster. I th well, he still does a sign poster. He did start doing sign poster, shout out, shout out videos at the end of every video. These are things that you do to get recognized and to get shout out to get your channel out there. Just saying. And he did those shout out videos for everybody who retweeted in, I think, the next hour after he uploaded. So, I mean, there are tons of things that you can do to do stuff like this and blow up like he did. So, let, let me just see what else this dude got. This dude, King Signs. Let me see what he got. However, in fact, my first few animations were trash. But somehow I got contacted by Kia Shimon, the lady who made this song. Hey to do an animation for her. Once I did that, I decided to change my YouTube name from Science Akbar to King Science, mainly because my personal Instagram name has always been I am King Science. Plus, it's so much easier to search King Science on YouTube since nobody knows how to spell Akbar anymore. So I post the new name on my Instagram story and I put a crown on my new animated character and show it to Instagram as well. Literally moments later, Don posts something on his story saying King in the caption and then changes his animated character to have a fucking hand. I love Sai. I love Sauce Guy. King, King. New animated character with a crown. New animated character with a halo. Are you seeing a pattern? It only gets worse. I DM him again in March, but this time he doesn't open the message. April 2018. I get a laptop finally make half an animation before it breaks tell my fans i'll have my face in the video along with animation since it was requested edit the rest of it on my phone and posted the video not even a week later don hein posts on his instagram the exact same Yo, what's up, Saw Squad? My computer broke down and I had all my drawings of my animated character on it. So I'm gonna do something a little different than my regular videos. So I'll be putting my face in the camera along with the animations. May 19th, 2018, he drops I Should Have Stole His Girl animated story. Too bad you ain't stealing bitches as much as you steal in my content. And in that video, he does the exact same thing I did in my video the month before. So you make up a story that your laptop broke and now you have to record your face just like what happened to me? How is this a coincidence? You copy and pasted my entire scenario a month later and put your ugly face in the video. First of all, what kind of crybaby title is that? I should have stole his girl. You ain't got no sauce. What kind of sauce is that? Mayonnaise? Anyway. I'm going I'm going to watch this whole video in its entirety. I don't care how long this video is. Like this is one of my favorite one of my favorite creators is Young Don the Sauce God. So I'm trying to see how this dude's exposing. Now, about the stuff that he just said. My laptop is broken on two different occasions. I am reckless. Now, when it comes to animators, however, it doesn't matter what story you make up or what story you have. When somebody has an animation channel, it is going to be just predetermined by the YouTube universe and all the internet that if you go and make an animation channel and you never show your face, we're going to want to see your face. Like, and that's just, that's just what it is. Like, think about H2O Delirious, a YouTuber who has never showed his face the whole time he's had his channel. I literally checked. I went through every video on H2O Delirious' channel just to see one clip of his face. Didn't see one. So think about YouTubers like that. We all want to see his face in a video. Same thing with Don. We all want to see his face in a video. It's just something that we want to see. 
I don't feel like his persona has changed. I feel like, if anything, he's humbled himself when it came to YouTube. That's just my personal opinion. Who the hell knows? But when it comes to, because I, I remember he made uh, fun of his name or whatever, and his name is Don Hines, or I don't, I forget if that's his real name, if I'm not mistaken, or something else, and Don is just short for that, but using his nickname or a name that's short for that, and then using his last name, which I believe is Hines, I mean, I remember I had a channel called Demarcus Nobles a long time ago, and the hell kind of name is that? I changed my name to Net One to Go because originally I had a channel named Net One Reactions. Before that, I had a channel called Dead Net Gaming. There is a pattern there. I kept the net in my name. It's short for Internet. So Net One to Go, Internet's number one go. Just saying. Young Don the Sauce God changed his name. I mean, what the? I, I don't really see a problem. Young Don, the sauce god, rolls off the tongue way better than Don Hines. Just saying. And he probably changed his name around the time when people started talking about sauce and everything like that. Like June 2nd, 2018. I contacted an animator by the name of Sultan Sketches to do an animation with me. He replies seven days later, and I didn't see the message. August 2nd, 2018. Sultan drops a video featuring Young Don, the ketchup dog. Literally a month later, he collaborated with the same animator I contacted the month before. Okay, pause. I just found something out. Apparently, Sultan had that audio six months before then. So this point doesn't count, I guess. Still, it was very weird that he put that out a month after. All the other points are valid, though. That one just shocked me. It only takes Sultan about a week to make his videos, so I believe that was on purpose. Month of July 2018, I decide to search up King Science to make sure I'm at the top of the search. And guess what pops up? Right under me, Young Don, the mayo bitch. Okay, I'm gonna stop with the bleep coin sound effect. It's so fucking annoying. Could you imagine an entire video, every cuss word is bleeped out by a Yeah. Sauce God was the name. Bro, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I know I'm going to have to do a crap ton of editing because I didn't show the camera that I was pausing, but I don't mind that. I really don't because my whole thing is that I like the coin sound. I think it was something that was, even if it wasn't unique to him, I think it's something that's unique in general. Everybody uses the dang bleep. That's been going on for years now. Why not use a coin sound? Why the hell not? of a rapper by the way so he stole that too along with the fact that all of his videos are about relationships with girls or stereotypical black stuff stole that from swoozy 100 percent i dyed my hair august 4th and posted it he dyed his hair recently i think it's the same red i did i changed my animated character's hair from black to red wouldn't be surprised if he does that as well what the f was that that is a cinematic sound to create the feeling of suspense. However, Young Dick the Mustard Angel uses it whenever he pleases. Would you stop that sh Sorry. So with all of that copying and stealing content, that begs the question of how the f did he even blow up? Well, I'll tell you right after this commercial break. And here's a hint, it wasn't Tinder. At the end of today's video, I'll be doing very special giveaways, so stay tuned to the end to see how you can win. Oh my god, it's so disgusting! Now that you're back, before we get into how he blew up, let me just tell you, this guy is a serious tracer. You can literally look up any image in his animations and find it on Google. I did that in like my first two animations, but I'm a good artist, so I stopped immediately. And I saw it as plagiarizing and sketchy. However, this loser's entire channel is traced images. No wonder he can post every week. So how did this guy blow up? If you search on YouTube, Young Don the Sauce God Reactions, a channel by the name of Dwayne and Jazz has been reacting to Don's videos before he was even at 10,000 subscribers. And this reaction channel was near a million subs when they were reacting to his videos. My theory is that he knows them personally or he's paying them to react to his videos. I tried to contact them myself to see if they'd react to some of my videos, but no response. A react channel with almost a million subs has no business reacting to a guy with only 10,000 subscribers every single time he puts out a video. Reactors usually watch 
watch and react to channels bigger than them so that they can get steam under their video and get thousands of views. Now, I don't care about the whole thing about reactors, but you is not going to come after Dwayne and Jazz talking about Young Don the Sauce Gods paying them and all this other shit. What kind of shit is that? What kind of shit is that? I ain't bleeping out nothing in this damn video. What kind of crap is that? You're going to say Dwayne and Jazz are being paid. They are not even the type of people to accept payment out of nowhere. I've donated to them on a live stream, and they talked about refunding my money. I can't even lie. They they said, and they did this to, they do this almost every time people donate. They say thank you, but they keep letting us know that they don't need the money. Like, they don't need the money. They'll accept it. They don't need it type stuff. So I don't understand where he gets this notion that they're getting paid. I mean, look at me. I may be reacting to you, and even though you got more subscribers than me, don't come over here and be sitting there like I'm reacting to you just so I can get more dang views or whatever. I react to whatever the hell I please, personally. Over half of my reactions aren't even like huge, huge videos. I've reacted to a good bit of videos that were from people with less subscribers than me. So I do not see this as a valid point either. I'm going to be honest. And that whole thing about the Tracer thing, I mean, come on. Um, I mean, there are a lot of animators who can do stuff in a span of a week. And even if he does trace the images, who the hell cares? He still does some kind of alteration to it. I, I don't give a fuck. We didn't subscribe to him based solely off his animation skills. We subscribed to him because he was entertaining. So, just saying. So that's one way he was growing fast. He also collaborated with It's Alex Clark, but that was when Don was well over 300K subs. So I dug deeper. Don has a team of quote unquote brothers by the name of Three for Tori. Three for Tori? Three. I don't know how the f you say it. It's a dumbass name. So they are a rap group and their music is predominantly trash. Like it's worse than the worst mumble rap. Don being the leader of the team, they have a channel together called The Boulevard. So anyway, I take to Instagram to see if the group has any connects that made Don blow up. So I went to one of the group members of Three for Tori's Instagram at Girls Love Feek. I scroll through his feed and someone comments under one of his photos, I just realized Drake follows you. Drake follows you. Drake follows you. And I'm immediately confused because this guy at the time had only like 2,000 followers. So how? I checked and turned out he's being followed by Drake on Instagram. Young Don the Sauce God is affiliated with the biggest fake in the music industry. Drake himself. Then it all made sense. For those of you who don't know yet, Drake has an obviously huge marketing team and an evil marketing tool. Steal it. He stole from many people in the music industry, such as Drum and XXX Tentacion. It doesn't come as a surprise to me that he sold himself into this for exposure. Don went from talking like a nerdy Jamaican boy to some fake persona of a stereotypical black guy, the Sauce God. August 18th, 2018. Don uploads a video by the name of My Last Animation. Don't watch it. It's clickbait. He basically says, I'm going to say this before we finish this because there's one, there's like a minute and 30 seconds left. So, what? Drake, I mean, it's good that his friend sponsored by, uh, not sponsored, but getting followed by Drake. And even if Drake used his marketing team and everything to help young Don the Sauce guy, so what? That's just a blessing on his end. And that's only if that's true. I mean, hell, for all we know, his friend could have just been lucky enough to be followed by Drake. I see that kind of stuff happen all the time. You really think that these rappers and everything, they only follow back other celebrities? No, they, they'll follow regular ass people too. It don't mean that they'll freaking comment on their shit and all types of shit, stuff like that, but they will follow regular ass people too. I 
don't see this is more like kind of just trash talking i don't see any legitimate evidence here i do see a little bit of i, I can see a little bit of evidence here and there like when he first started talking but like as soon as half the video was over it was pretty much more of like trash talking than anything like these are all things that just happened i don't think that young don had some kind of elaborate plan i don't necessarily think that he's stealing from you too much i mean everybody has a need for a glow up look at me i'm still waiting on mine i've looked like this since i was little not a good look it really ain't but you guys think that if i do hit like a million subscribers like don and everything i'm gonna still be looking like this i ain't gonna be sitting there buying name brand like a whole bunch of name brand shit and a whole bunch of designer shit but I'm going to sit there, I'm going to do whatever I can to have like a little bit of a glow up to change my damn look a little bit because I don't like this look. I'm pretty damn sure he didn't like his look either. So the hell what? that his previous animation will be the last animation he makes on his own. Which I call bullshit on. I think 3 for Tori is helping him make his videos. There's no way you put out an animation once a week, have time to vlog on your vlog channel, while posting on social media the parties and events you go to. Young Dick the Mustard Angel is a thief, a liar, a master manipulator, and a fake persona. Don't buy into his shit. Me, however, I actually do this on my own and animate on a phone. And you won't see me putting on some fake persona for some subs. Young Don the Sauce God, don't fall for his bull. Before you knew YouTube, I ain't gonna lie. How in the hell do you animate on the phone? I would have did that months ago if I knew you could do that on the phone and actually put out like a pretty good animation. I honestly would have. Not only that, but I'm not. I'm not gonna say, go as far to say it's hard. I mean, no, go as far to say as it's not hard to put an animation out every week. But I'm sitting here like, bro, it's not impossible. I mean, shit, he's had times where he uploaded late. There have been, I can at least count four, five, maybe six videos where I know that he's talked about uploading late. There are times when I've waited for his video to drop and it came out late. It's not impossible to do. You just got to be able to do it. And have the mindset to do it. That's something that everybody talks about and says. If you devote time and all your energy and everything to put out a video every week. And besides, there's been a notice, noticeable um, decline in a sense of, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, his upload schedule. There's been a, you can noticeably tell that ever since he started his um, channel, The Boulevard, and started posting on there consistently, that his videos haven't been coming out as promptly as they were before because he has another channel. I mean that there's you can see um, you can see um, the decline and everything. You can see what goes on if you actually look hard enough. I'm not saying this dude didn't look hard, do his research or anything. I'm just saying that even though these all can't be 100% coincidences and everything, you can't. And, and then think about the thing he said with Susie, the whole black stereotypical thing. How are you going to say he ripped it off from Susie? That's happened to all of us. I feel like stereotypical black stuff has happened to all of us or has been said by multiple different people. It's been said by Kevin Hart, most black comedians, Susie, other animators. Come on now. It really has been said throughout time by multiple people. So you can't just say he got it from Susie unless he stole the exact situation from Susie. I don't want to hear none of that. I really don't. And then, obviously, like I said, this dude hates him. He's telling people not to watch him, all types of shit like that. Dude, I'm not one to talk. It's not like I'm a huge YouTuber. But as a little YouTuber, all I can say is do better, bro. I mean, look at me. All I do is post reactions. But clearly, I'm not taking YouTube as seriously as I should. Or else I'd have more subscribers now. I mean, for God's sakes, I'm a reaction channel. Come on now. YouTubers and animators, don't be like him. I'm sure he had to suck a whole lot of big YouTubers' dick to get where he is now. <laughs> you trying to get this collab, man? Come on, man. You know I'm good for it, man. Just, just give a nigga a collab, dog. 
Come on, man. You know I'm good for you, man. <laughs> I'll suck you. Never mind. He definitely did. I'd love to see your response, you stupid bitch. Uh, I'm bigger than him. I've got more subs than him. And, uh, there's plenty of sauce gods. I'm just the biggest one. And I suck a lot of dick. And he's right. Fuck Young Don the sauce god. I want to take this last 20 seconds and say thank you for watching and for everyone who wants to see their comment i will be putting that in the next video it wasn't going to be this one this was something i really needed to get out there be ready for the next iphone parody coming soon i'll be putting all your comments in there that's a more happy go lucky video make sure to comment make sure to follow me on all right man you gotta see um you gotta see what i'm talking about though right i'm not telling you guys sound me i'm not telling you guys whose side to be on frankly i do not care like i said none of this that he has said is going to stop me from watching Young Don the Sauce God. I'm not buying into no bullshit. This is just something I genuinely believe. I've seen and reacted to damn near all of his videos. At least all the ones on his animation channel. Not, I mean, I know I haven't seen all the ones that he's deleted, but I have seen some of the ones that you can't see on there anymore. And then I've seen the chain that he's talking about, but... I don't think it's a change acting like a stereotypical nigga. Like, sure, he acted like this apparently nerdy Jamaican dude or whatever kind of shit like that. But at the same time, it's like, do you know what it's like to be nervous as fuck on a camera and the camera trained on you the whole time? And then not only that, to not know what type of channel you want to do on YouTube. I run into so many people who talk about starting YouTube channels, but they don't know what to do. They don't know what they want to do on YouTube, and they don't want to spend all their time, and especially money, on something that they don't even know 100% that they want to do. Me, I'm not even doing 100% what I want to do. Sure, I may be streaming here and there, but my main goal on YouTube was to always be a gaming YouTuber. Like, Dashy. For Lizzie's second channel, all these other YouTubers who are gamers. Wanted to be a gaming YouTuber. That's what I want to do. I'm doing reactions now, but in my mind, I have a plan. I changed my name from Net1 Reactions to Net1 The Goat so I could do both on this channel. I don't see what the problem is here. I literally do not feel like this dude is really copying you for real. I don't feel like this is something, I mean, the stuff that he's talking about is like in a span of kind of like a year to six months. So like, I don't see it, bro. I don't see it. I mean, think about it like this. Don has had all the resources that you didn't have to begin with. With all those resources, obviously he's able to get bigger than you, especially at 11,000 subscribers, which you have currently. He's able to get bigger than you and a lot of other animators. And yes, if people like Dwayne and Jazz watch his videos, they will get his name out there more. Of course. I don't feel like he's paying them, though. I feel like they genuinely like his videos. Do you know Dwayne and Jazz like anime? Do you know that Don clearly likes anime because he clearly references it multiple times in his videos? There are things that you can do to get people to like you. That's all I'm saying. I'm closing out this video because this thing is like, yeah, this thing is almost 20 freaking, I mean, almost 30 fucking minutes long. I don't know how I'm going to cut this thing down. I'm going to see you guys next.